Okay, so Delilah is up first, so she will attack Odo. Greatsword to the face with no DR. Holy shit. Well, that was terrible. The sad thing is because uh, she can lay on hands, I didn't take any real good healing spells. So uh, yeah, she will just do her lay on hands as a swift action. And then she will five foot back. And then we're on to Xavier. Oh, nice. Time to call the herd. Oh, here we go with more magic swords. He casts Mage Sword beside Paw. Oh my god, it gets caster level plus your caster ability and then it's a plus three weapon on top of that. That's pretty nasty. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. It doesn't say whether it gets extra attacks for high base attack. I think it only gets one attack. That kind of sucks. That's probably why it's so nasty. It gets to roll its SR. Okay. Well, let's pretend we do that. And then since it's a spell, I'm pretty sure I can absorb it if it's targeting me. It's not targeting you. It is actually a spell in and of, in and of itself. But it's magic that attacks me. Mm, it's every magic. round it attacks me. Yeah, it does, but it's a create. It's a physical creation that's attacking you. No, it's evocation. It's not conjuration. Yes, but it's force, so it's physically a force object. Spell brings into uh, being a sh shimmering sword-like plane of force. That is the effect. But it has SR. Like it, uh, my, my SR, SR can affect it, which means yep. it's magic. It's all magic. Yeah, it, it needs to bypass your, your spell resistance to hurt you. But once it has become a, the finished spell, you can't do anything with it. We were talking about this when you were trying to remove the glyph or the warding thing on the door. Was that 22, my uh, spell resistance? Yes. Okay. 
I assume that beats you. Can I spell turn this? No, because it's not actually a, fel a spell that's affecting you. Spells that uh, you can only spell turn things that, uh, that are targeted at you. So you take 16 points of uh, force damage. And he's not aware of it, so he will hit you with a fast magic missile. Which I assume you're just going to absorb. I don't know if I can absorb it. Um, you're going to have to make that ruin. I have I a shield, shield spell up. Oh, okay. Well, then it obliterates your shield. <laughs> I'll roll the damage for that. I don't even know how much my, my shield spell actually absorbs. Does, I thought a shield spell negated magic missile. It does, but there are no infinite qualities in my game. So it absorbs five uh, points per level. So it'll last a fair length of time versus even a high level magic missile. Five points, points per, per level, level is there a maximum to it? Um, I don't remember. There might be. It definitely wouldn't be less than 50 points. No, it's just five points per level, so it uh, would be a ridiculous amount. Or could be a ridiculous amount. Uh, it's 55, I believe. I'm a 11 level caster for invocation. Is that invocation? You're 11th level caster. At, oh, is that a, a shaman spell? Oh, no, it's abjuration, so I'm only 10. Is that a shaman spell? Shield, yes. Okay, it's, yep. It's my, um, what's it called? Your advanced learning. Yeah. Okay, so he's taking a swift action, and he's taken his main action. He is not happy about that, but he can maneuver himself. And then we're on to Yaxon. Um, Yaxon doesn't see him, right? He's invisible? Yeah, he's invisible. Okay, well, Yaxon will just do his thing, I guess, and uh, get over into the fight. No, that's yeah. I did not see around the corner. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, yeah. Axel just continue flying. <laughs> Does he provoke when he flies by? Uh, I don't know how high how high up can they reach? Well, they can reach anywhere in the room because the ceiling's only ten feet high. Um, 
the bigger question is, does he have an ability to fly by that doesn't provoke? No, I did, definitely didn't. The other way, we'll see. I did not oh, see that other one there. And I assume he provokes from Xavier when he flies away. Yeah, well, he doesn't know Xavier's there, so. Let's fly up and try to protect the team, the rogue. Okay. Full round in the rogue. Wait. Uh, <coughs> and that's it. Um, and then the Orogs can go, so the top one will attack Pa. I assume 20 is a miss on Pa. That one will double five foot across to attack Odo. Why I'm even bothering to roll, I don't know. And then the rogue will double five foot around to flank Keldon. So what's a double five foot? It's when you take a five foot as your move action and your swift action. Okay. Or if you have mobility, you can do it as a free action in a swift action. Just so you don't provoke when you go around, go more than one one square. Um, 23 a hit on you, Kelvin? Sorry, what was that, Kenny? Diagonaling through a threatened square like that, passing through an opposing person square? No, that's why I double five foot. I went one north and one west. Oh, okay. I didn't think you could walk through the statue. Well, the statue's gone now. You guys destroyed it. It's not a giant piece of stone in those spaces. Well, it would be crumbly rock left over. We never considered dead things obstacles in the game. Uh, no, not, he, not bodies. Generally, no. Sorry, what was that? Would it be considered difficult terrain at that point? Um, Probably not. Uh, I don't think a stone golem is enough stone that it would really matter. Like, it's only nine feet tall and it's a statue. We wouldn't consider a nine foot high ogre and a difficult terrain token on the board, or we never have. So, Kelvin, I assume 23 was a hit on you? Oh, 23? Uh, 23 a hit. Sorry. It's, uh, the highest I saw was a 21 on the board. Yeah, she gets plus two for flanking. I just keep forgetting to put it in. So you take five points from the hit. And 11 points from the sneak attack. Are you dead? I'm down, I said. Okay, I just wanted to know if you were dead or just unconscious. Just unconscious. Okay, uh, the rogue is done. I don't know why I did the rogue. That it's not even her turn; it's Pa's turn. But regardless. Well, yeah. Um. So to, what's the cast through a threaten what's that one it's like 20 or something isn't it i don't even think i can fail anymore. what do you mean cast through a threaten like cast on the defenses oh defensive is 15 plus the spell level so i can't even fail it. but then i have to roll for the 15 damage that i took which is seven, seven. On, on top of 10 is it 17 i believe it's the full damage you took for the round so it would be uh 
27 or 25, whatever it was. 10 plus the damage taken and it's half damage if it's ongoing damage like if you get hit with a acid arrow that's just burning away every round so i have to not roll a one okay well let's see you do that i don't i don't have twice any, uh, yeah i'm fine okay so Fifty-seven points back to you, Kaladin, before you fall over from the rogue. Awesome thing. And I'm assuming you still need help. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't even bring him to half. Well, it'll keep him from falling over. For sure. All I have to do is not roll a one. Eight and a five. Seven more killed him. And I guess I'm standing still so I can do it again. You can technically move back into the room behind you. Yeah. Six more on top of that. Okay. Thank you. The uh the twenty nine was not a hitting, I assume. That was like a spell crap or something. Yeah, yeah that was uh yeah. each spell he has to roll the check for. Yeah, that's what I thought. Although the other ones were swift actions, so I don't he doesn't need to roll a check for those. Oh, he has to roll it for the, the damage. damage. Yeah. The damage. The, I didn't make a roll for the whatever. No, I realized it as soon as I them. said it that your check is plus 24. You can't fail even on a one. Yeah. Okay, so you're done. So we are on to Krasix. And he is done with his breath weapon, so he will come back and poison more people. He will fly to there, and he can get... Uh, Yaxon, the Rogue, Odo, and Keldin. Everyone can roll their fortitude save. I ignore this one. Why are you ignoring such an insignificant save? Because I, I got nothing else to use it again. You got a high level spellcaster in the room and you're worried about one point of poison damage? You can use it however you want, I don't care. Um poison's acid damage, right? No, poison is poison damage. Okay. Okay, it looks like everybody made the save without any difficulty. I'm just gonna take the ten Ooh. points. Off the rogue, so you take uh, a point per round for the next 10 rounds. Because I will definitely forget to do it round by round. And she is pissed. And then the cleric will come out of the corner. Two spiritual weapons will move up on Akasha. How many rounds has it been? Um, that's a good question. I think I've only attacked Akasha th three or four times with the low-level one. We might have missed it a couple of rounds. I don't know how many rounds it's been. Has anyone been tracking rounds? Oh, I forgot to roll for Gaxon's breath weapon cooldown. Oh, there's something. Uh, uh, Krasix came into the combat in the same round Delilah did, 
and he went four rounds with a breath weapon. So he's on his fifth round. It's got to be getting pretty close to those things disappearing. Well, the new one is Delilah's. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. First one, though. Yeah, this is the last attack for the first one. Um, 21 to hit on you, uh, Akasha. Sorry, you asked if a 21 would hit her what? Her AC. No. I did not think so. Second one hits 38, though, so that's a little more accurate. That one will only last for 10 more rounds. There you go. I put a timer on that one. The one on Upa will only last for seven rounds after the timer runs out. Sorry, six rounds. Okay, so the cleric gets his act. And he will cast Searing Light on Yaxon. He just move. Yeah. Did I move oh, him no. too far? Hmm? Did I move him too far? No. Uh, Yaxon has... It just looked like you were measuring or someone was measuring it and it was 40 feet. <laughs> I think I miscount. I, I moved him up to beside... Uh, the stone skin token and then moved him further and i think i can't miscounted his movement um You'll probably easily bypass the axe and spell resistance um for 13 14 14 he does not okay so he is done then it is kasha's turn All right. Sorry, I was waiting. Um, did anybody make the save on the repulsion? I know I didn't. I don't think so. I did. I think Odo did. I did. Okay, well, I think it's time to go after Xavier. It's either that or Delilah. Do you guys think? I don't know, but you don't have any health. So I don't want to go after Delilah, I think is my thing. So I'm going to go after Xavier. We, we don't see Xavier, though. He's invisible currently. Oh, is he? What do I have up right now? He's invisible and not close enough to you that you could detect him. Yeah. <sighs> so I could spend a whole round here just to switch to a soul node that would allow me to see invisibility. Or that would make sense considering you felt a powerful effect and no source. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Um, yeah, so let me double check. So, what is the I think it's a full round action, but it says, um, using the proper command thought. So this is a full round of action that functions once per day. Okay, so she will activate that then um, to switch her truth seeker goggles out for 
um, keen eyed lenses, I believe. So she'll lose her dark vision, but she'll gain seeing visibility. Okay. I believe this room is relatively well lit at the moment. Yeah. So let's see, or do I, we want to do illusion fail? Anyway, that's going to be a full round action. She could do a swift to make one teleport up and attack this rogue here, I guess. So she'll do that um, as a swift action, just to do one attack this round. It's even a flag. Yep. Okay, and that'll be her turn. Oh my god, you just destroyed her. That's just kind of a killing machine right now, isn't he? That fucking rogue. Yeah, that rogue did so much damage. Fifth level rogue just totally wiped the floor with Keldon. Okay, um, that was Akasha, so we're on to Flynn. What are you doing? Um, I don't know if I want to do anything right now. Do you have another potion? Do you have another two Ooh. potions? No. I could just try to make a run to you. Or I could just stay here. Does, uh, does any, do any of them see me? Because I, roll, I rolled a 39 on my stealth. My, does, when I look around, does, do I visibly see them targeting me? Uh, with a 39 stealth, probably not. I'd have to roll for Xavier. Uh, no, Xavier does not see you. Okay. I might do another five foot and hide here. I think the real problem is nobody can see you none of us can see you well once he's standing beside you he can say hey can you heal yes, me i know but i can't see him across the room i can't even tell what he's doing yeah i'm hiding in the breaches the, these chairs right now trying to figure <laughs> out the best solution. because i'm pretty sure the last time anybody saw him he fell unconscious behind the bleacher and then he rolled a 40 for his stealth i don't think any of us can see him I'm just gonna... Akasha might be able to. I'm going to move there. Good and that's way. I have a 54 stealth, just in case it matters. <laughs> I'm hiding here. You're going to get, get killed, killed by some like random spell that's not even targeted at you. <laughs> I'm waiting here because I don't want to fight the big evil bitch by herself right now. Alright, so I just need to point out something. So I could attack. And what's up? Keldon, you already minus the damage the rogue did to you, di didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did, I did <laughs> minus that out, yeah. Well, technically the rogue didn't stab you. Oh, awesome. Yeah, technically the rogue went after me. Well, yeah, Akasha yeah. finished him off. I started moving my tokens around and went from the Orogs to the rogue, and I was like, well, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. And I figured if uh, Paul was going to heal him, it wouldn't matter. But technically, she went down, so we didn't take that damage. Awesome. Uh, that's it for me. I'm just going to leave it right here. So now it's uh, Kelton's turn. The rogue's dead. Put okay. those hit points um, back, Kelp. Yeah. Sorry, what's that? What What did you say? Put your hit points back. Yeah. The ones that the rogues took. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, I am going to 
cast on the defensive and alter self to turn into a troglodyte. Uh, and let's see. For my swift, uh, I'm going to unexpend White Raven's tactics. Um, so I might take a five foot step, although I don't know that I need to really. Uh, well, you could take a five foot step and then you wouldn't have to cast defensively. Oh, uh, well, I'm. I'd, uh, even I roll a one, I make it, so. Um, do yeah, I'll just call it good. Uh, I'll be done. All right, turn over. So, what did you do this round? Um, I made myself a drug that okay, better AC basically. <laughs> uh, and this is the round you missed, right, Oda? Yeah, that's why I put zero. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Then you can give yourself a 99 and go first. We need initiatives to roll. <laughs> yeah, that's why I just went static with mine. I was like, you guys can just go when you go because uh, so many freaking things on the board to deal with. And I have to memorize everybody's initiative. I'm done. I killed the Orog just in front of Paul. Okay, then. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I did technically say 99, but that's okay. So Delilah will five foot up to you, Odo. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, uh, did that... Uh... That org moved, moved away from me, didn't it? No, it died. Oh, it died. Okay. And she will full attack you. I should have made a full attack macro. Who's making all the background noise? Oh wow, I rolled a one. It's a thirty-three hit on you. Yeah. Oh, okay. That totally sucks. <laughs> okay, well she only hits you once, and I lost my macro again. So how does she move full attack and lay on hands? She moves as a free action, because you can take a five-foot step if you don't take any other actions. Okay. Then she uses her battle blessing to, or her swift action to lay on hands, and when she casts a spell, she uses battle blessing. Islands can do a lot, especially when they're high level. Yeah, I originally um, was going to make her a fighter mage, and I was like, uh, fighter mages always end up just being shitty at both fighting and maging. And then I realized 
a paladin of tyranny would be absolutely awesome although smite uh chaos doesn't really work on this party you can make an argument for flint uh, yeah that's technically true but no one in this party is distinctively chaotic so like i could she could obviously pick someone in the party and try and smite them but it's not going to do anything Somebody can make an argument for flint yep so Odo, you take twenty-seven points of damage, and then uh, we are on to Xavier. So he'll move across the room. He really dislikes uh, defensive spells, so uh, he's going to target Paw again. So you take another 14 points to your uh, shield. And then he will drop an ice storm in the middle there. Which I think is a fortitude save. While we're discussing whether or not you should waste your fortitude save. All right, I'll ignore that one then. So everybody takes uh, d6 points of bludgeoning damage per two levels and a d6 of cold per three levels. Oh, there's no save at all. Sorry. Never mind. You just get fucked up. I thought there was some kind of save against the cold effect. Can you roll the cold separate for, um... Yeah, for, I was uh, just about to ask if anyone had cold issues. <coughs> uh, no, but I... Spell resistance. Okay, we'll pretend like it matters one more time. Can I roll a one eventually? Um, uh, I have one DR eight. piercing, so I... So you can <laughs> subtract from the bludgeoning damage. So I will roll the uh, d6 per two levels for that. So it's 8d6. So you take 21 points of bludgeoning damage. And 24 damage. Holy shit! Points of cold damage. Sorry, there's no save on this at all? None. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. It's an area of effect spell. It, I mean, I know of exactly one spell that has a no save damage in 3 5. It's just like a. Um, what one save? What one save do you know? What one spell do you know that has no save? Because Ice Storm is like a first edition spell that's never had a save. So, okay. Sorry, who's? Uh, I just didn't know the spell. Okay. Oh, who's in the area? Um, the area is a twenty foot radius, so that would be, um. Not Delilah. Uh, so it would be Yaxin, Calden, Pa, and Akasha. Everyone except you. for Flynn. It's only 5d6 total. It's yeah. 3d6 bludgeoning and 2d6 cold. Yeah, unless you, you're boosting it through some ability, ability or something. Yes. Right. 
Oh shit! I those numbers are wrong. Um, yeah, I think like yeah, it's yeah. I screwed up. I I did it at sixteenth level. It's only twelfth level. Um, so the yeah. last the last two uh, four points less on the bludgeoning damage. Did you and, change those? Yes, it doesn't, I did. Yes, okay. I did. And uh, the last ten points on the uh, actually the yeah the last ten points on the cold damage. I mean that's yeah, that's just ridiculous. It is very ridiculous. I mean, there's no. So how much? I mean, Akash is dead. There's no counter in the game that saves it from that. Sorry. What, what is she at? Total, total damage then. The total damage would be uh, seventeen in bludgeoning damage. She, she gets her damage reduction to that. Oh, I guess she doesn't have any. And then 14 for the cold damage. Yeah. I mean. And then uh, we are on to Flynn. What are you doing? I'm going to find my foot and uh, just going to take up Delilah. Okay. Your first two attacks would be sneak attack. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't really get into the flank position. Well, you can, but then you'd only get two attacks. Um, she is an evil outsider, right? She is an evil outsider, yes. She is an alu fiend, and she is a lawful evil outsider. Is it lawful evil or just evil? It's just evil. So the second is a crit. Second attack is a crit. Firms the crit. My um, plus two weapon doesn't hit through her evil, right? No. You take the full seven. I still did 98 points of damage to her. 98 total? Yep. After DR, I did like 120 something. I'm not including the sneak attacks on the second one. Well, include all your damage, because it matters. Well, no, the sneak attacks on the second two hits don't count. I just don't have oh, okay. Okay. Those. Yeah, because, yeah, that's... Yeah. I'll just redo our answer real quick, but yeah, I think that's... Ah, uh, you can have the aura go next. Will I do this now? Again? I'm, I've got something I'm going to do as a uh, response to the damage, so I'm just looking it up. I just wanted to make sure I had the numbers right. Yeah, she's, uh, that was 98 points. 
Okay. So as her uh, dying action, she will cast Hero's De Defiance and heal herself for 76. Wow, I actually rolled well on uh, Lay on Hand. Okay, um, then we're on to the Orog, who will attack Flynn. He's right there. Stabbing futilely. Uh, next up is Paw. Uh, I don't think I can cast any spells. So... Uh... Oh, I did I do uh, the sword damage on you this round? I don't think I did. Oh. Okay, so you take 12 points from the sword. And then it's your go. What is back here? Why can't I see anything? Um, there's no light back there. Okay. Do you have a light source? Um, no, I guess not. We were trying to sneak. Yeah, I turned everyone's light source off. The room is lit by the four big uh, braziers, but I don't think there's any other source of light. Do you have a potion on you, Akasha? So she does not, but I did just recount her hit points just to see if I missed something. And unless I'm missing something else, I'm getting that she should have 101 total, which means right now she'd be at exactly zero. Um, I can show you my math if you want. No, I'm fine with it. I assume you know how to count. Yeah, but anyway. anyway. When, when shit happens, that's when you go back and check your math. You need that plus one. When you're at minus two, that makes a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. Being at zero sucks. Being on minus one is way worse. Yeah. But she does not have a potion on her. I assume that people would be using whatever party loot we had for potions and stuff. Or drawing from that. Well, I guess uh, I'm going to five foot back and then I'm just going to hold the rest of my actions to try and win initiative next round. What is it for a standard in your move? Uh, swift is one, move is two, standard is four. A total of seven, because all I did was five, which is free, right? Yeah, if you don't take any of the move, you can five foot for free. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay, uh, Krasix will continue flying away. Can't even come close to rolling anything but a four on Breath Weapon. Okay, then it is Kasha's turn. Um, I think she's going to delay for now. Um, in case there's anything that uh, Kelvin or the others can do to heal her up. Okay, then it's the cleric's turn.
and he will cast Hold Person on Flynn. Roll your will save. Yay, will save is my favorite. Use my half level to it. What is short range for me? Short range is 25 feet plus half your level, so 45 feet. Okay. Um, I will try and draw the spell to myself and see it. Okay. I know, I know that Flynn rolled a 20, but I would have done it anyways. Okay. It's DC 15 plus spell level. Yep, 17. What's the check on that? Spellcraft. Oh, so it's mostly irrelevant. Yeah, so it's second level? It is a second level spell, yes. I observe it. Okay, Flynn, well, you don't have to make a save. Like, you wasted a 20, but uh, <laughs> you don't have to waste your half level thing this turn. Okay. And uh, then we're on to Yaxon. What's he doing? Uh, he's gonna gonna just stand by Akasha, give her some protection. Okay. So then we're on to Keldon. All right. Uh, we'll go to them. We'll do a Crusader strike on uh, this Orog or whatever it is that's south of me here. Okay. okay. Okay, that ought to do something. Yeah, that'll probably kill him. He's got 31 hit points, so he's not soft, but... Well, it's just mostly... It doesn't do very much damage. It's mainly to... It's mainly to heal. Uh, so that'll do uh, 9 damage to him. And then I will use Akasha as my target of healing for this Crusader Strike. So that'll be eight uh, hit points of healing to Akasha here. Uh, Don't you have any uh, healing spells left? Uh, well, I took I took damage, so I didn't want to risk the uh, spell crash. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's a, that's a maneuver to do some healing anyway. Um, so let's see. Um, I guess... Oh, yeah. So for my... Um, so for my swift... Uh, I guess we'll use uh, we'll use Odo as the target for my uh, White Raven's uh, tactic, and uh, then I'm done. Okay, Odo, it's your go. Sorry, wait a minute. Um, Akasha had been on a delay until after. Okay, Sorry. you can go then. Okay. So she's going to um, focus on Zavir. Zavir, especially after seeing that. So she's going to spend a standard to give herself um, some temporary power points. Um, and then she's going to spend six to teleport down to Xavier as a move, make an attack. That's it in that one. Down two. Then she will do one more quick teleport to the other side of him. We'll go here and she'll make one more attack. God damn. And that's it. Clicking furiously. Now it's my turn, right? Yes, now it's your turn. I'm surprised you didn't go over and attack Delilah, not that it would have made a whole lot of difference. Well, I mean, he could just cast that spell again, hit all of us, and Nakash would be dead, so... 
Oh, damn. Hello, Delilah. You're about to get your face caved in. Oh, no. She's just blood splatter now. <laughs> Sorry, John. I crit twice on your paladin. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. She's already used her immediate action to heal, so. And unfortunately, Xavier is already gone, so. Uh... He can't even do anything about it this round. Okay.